The Steelers, when they play on Monday night in San Francisco in what should be a spotlight game for the weekend, will be missing one of the key players, and that's James Harrison. The linebacker was suspended for one game for his hit on Colt McCoy, which happened last week on a Thursday night on national TV. Uh, in that hit, we saw McCoy's head snap back because Harrison hit him full on with his helmet. Harrison apparently has not learned how to deal with the new rules or the interpretation of the rules and the player safety actions that the NFL has tried to introduce over the last few years. It's the fifth time that he's been disciplined for hitting a quarterback illegally, and this time it resulted in a suspension. The first player who's been suspended for a flagrant hit under these new guidelines. Uh, being suspended for one game is not a surprise at all. I thought that's what he would get. However, what happens now is if Harrison is hit with another sort of discipline for the same kind of things, you will see longer suspensions. You could see two, four games, even six games, if uh, it's really flagrant. Harrison has to learn from this, and the Steelers coaching staff has to make sure that he's learning from it. I don't entirely blame Harrison for what's going on because I think he's been coached this way throughout his career, in high school and in college and in the pros. That's a real indictment of the way players are coached on defense these days, and it needs to change. Maybe this will help to get it to change. Uh, Harrison is not a scapegoat, though. If people think he's a scapegoat, he's doing wrong, and he needs to be punished for it.